I'm Species7, and I have the pleasure of being your host for this series. Today we are going to have a look at the Gold Sluicing Facility, a very, very lucrative addition to the economy of the Jarnholm area. It's a fairly simple animal to operate, so let's have a look at what we do. Up here, we are going to put soil into the mix, because that's what we're going to sluice to try and get our gold. So we can dump our soil in here, which if you watch the first video, explains where you can get this wonderful commodity, and how. There we go. The other thing that you need to add is water. And that gets added over here, at the rather large water tank facility. So we'll get that underway as well. There we go, start to empty that off. And we'll see that we have listings for just that, soil and water. We got lots of soil in there, not so much water, but you will find, and it's something to pay attention to, you want to try and run this facility constantly. Keeping it full of soil is fairly easy. Uh, keeping it full of water goes through water at a pretty quick rate, so keep your eye on that. You'll notice, however, that we also have listed tailings, gold, and recycled. Now, gold, that's fairly obvious. That's our long-term goal, and that's what we're trying to find, because it will make you lots of money. Tailings and recycled. Well, let's see what that's all about. I'm just going to wander over here and grab myself a tractor, as I know I have a couple. Now, tailings are what a mine produces as leftovers from the ore that it crushes. I.e., if this mine, if it's gold that they're after, once they crush all the, gold, all the soil and sift it and do all of that, well, the stuff that's not gold is going to come out the other end with the water. Once you separate the water, you have what's called tailings. And depending on the type of mine, that usually will take the place of some sort of small crushed rock of one form or another. Uh, often left where it is, but we don't like to do that. We're aware that the world requires recycling. So what you do with the tailings here is we're going to scrub them all up and use them for garden rock. The garden rock can be sold at the garden center. Convenient, isn't it? So, the other thing we find is recycled. And recycled is the water that you pull out of this machine once it's been, you know, sluiced through the soil and done its thing. It's certainly not a drinkable form any longer but it does still have its uses. Now this is a modified Flegel trailer and it does come with the version 2.0 map. And if we bring this guy up, you'll see it's starting to refill with the recycled. So we'll let him do that and I'll show you where he goes once he's full. Now the tailings themselves, simple enough. Now this guy has finished dumping off all the soil he had. We'll try not to crash him, and we'll take him over here. And there we are. You'll see he starts to load up with tailings. Which, as you can see by the little picture there on my driving module, is indeed just that, a bunch of various sized, kind of crushed up rock. Now, of course, it's filthy, dirty, disgusting, all mixed with muck and goop and you name it from being rolled around in the crushers and what we want to do with it. We got a full trailer. Happy us. Yes. Take it over to our washing facility. And you'll see that they have a nice, whoops, <laughs> articulated steering. A nice little place that we can unload that there. 
and I will show you the workings of this machine in a future episode when we deal with some of the sort of more peripheral aspects of the whole construction economy. All right, there we are. So we got 27,000 tailings sitting there waiting to be scrubbed up into fine new products. Now let's go and grab the other end of things. Now I unfortunately don't have any gold to show you because I can take quite a while and it can take quite a lot of materials. Once again, as you can see, we're doing all right on pretty much everything else. Lots of soil, lots of water. Now it's just a matter of time. And as for these, we now have our recycled water. Lovely. I would assume the trailer's full. It is too, as there is still 2% left in the tank. So what do we do with this? Well, wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be a much a point to calling it recycled if we weren't going to repurpose it. So let's go do that. This is used at the road construction sites and it's used as a dust damper, basically. You will uh, spray it on the dirt road that acts as a access route around the construction. So let's go have a look at that. So here's the construction. You can see there are a couple of other triggers here, and we will get to exactly what is brought there, again, in a later episode. Nope. <laughs> I'm not always the best of drivers here, I'm afraid. There we are. And when we get to here, we can... start to spray the road. There you go. And we'll head up here nice and slow, and you'll notice that at the same rate our water goes out, our money goes up. Well, there you are, that's a part of the construction economy portion of this map. And that is helping out road construction. There we go. So, oop, <laughs> we're apparently upsetting the local traffic who's very, very <laughs> impatient to go by me. Thank you for your politeness. There we are. And that, guys, basically covers everything you need to know about the gold sluicing system. Well, not quite. There is one other thing you saying. Well, what do I do when I get my gold? All right, let's have a look at that. <laughs> As I say, unfortunately, I don't have any. I would have liked to have seen that little thing full because I know just what will bring. And that's uh, a lot of money. So when you do finally get gold, you can come over to this machine. And you see this little tray here. Well, as soon as you come up here, it will slide all of your bullion into your pocket. Then taking your pocket full of gold, you simply go, and again here, we'll look at a map any place there's a cash machine. That's right, we do gold transfers through ATMs here in Jornholm. And there you have it, guys. There is your gold sluicing facility in all its glory, and it will make you lots and lots of money in exchange for a little bit of work and a whole bunch of patience. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. There will be more to come, of course, as we explore more of the amazing features of the Jornholm Mining and Construction Economy map. Thanks for watching.